Hey guys, it's Ken Vandy, and today I want to show you how to get your videos into ultra widescreen in CyberLink PowerDirector 14. Now, as you may have noticed, there are only two aspect ratios built into CyberLink PowerDirector 14, and that is the 4x3 and 16x9 aspect ratios. This does not include the famously used 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio, also known as ultra widescreen, that you often see in short films and movies and stuff like that. So that's what I want to show you how to do today is how to get more aspect ratios into your videos that you can use. The easiest way to get a wider aspect ratio is just to put a mask over it. So like just black bars with the middle of the image transparent. But I've made it easier for you if you use CyberLink PowerDirector by creating a custom PIP object that you can download from Director Zone. So let's go to there. Director Zone. If you don't know what Director Zone is, it's just a, a site that um, CyberLink has made for other people who use CyberLink PowerDirector that you can download custom titles, more PIP objects, and um, extra effects. So here's the, there's a link in the description to two different um, aspect ratios. One is where it adds a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio over the 16 by 9 layout. And the other one is if you have 4 by 3 footage and you can put an uh, extra wide aspect ratio over that. So let's download it. And it'll give us this little pop up box. Just download it. Nice. Go to our downloads folder. And there it is. Now, this is a little different. You're not actually downloading the file itself, it's like a little installer. So, what you do, you double click it. Gets you this pop up box that it is installed now, and you can just go ahead and delete this file. And it is in our CyberLink PowerDirector PIP room in a special folder. So I'll open it up, and it should be under downloaded. I'm in 16 by 9 right now. So here's the one we just downloaded. Now, what you want to do is you want to put this on the lowest track you have. So for this example, I'm just going to put it on the second track, and we'll put some footage on the first track. So let's get this right there. And as you can see, we'll make these the same length. Now this image has black bars. Let's see what it looks like without it. This is what the video usually looks like. That we add the mask that we downloaded, and it looks has an um, extra wide, ultra wide screen. Let's play it. And that's about it, guys. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, um, I have more tutorials I have done on CyberLink PowerDirector 14. Click here if you want to see another tutorial. And see you in the next one. Also feel free to ask questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them and I might even make future videos regarding your questions.